Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my April favorites, but before I get started with my April favorites, I just want to say hi, hello. I know it's been a really long time since I have filmed a video, and I am still here. I am still here. I just took a little bit of a break from uploading videos. Um, I needed a little bit of a creative break, and while I was gone, I came up with lots of new video ideas, and because I came up with lots of new video ideas, I was like, you know what, I need to come back with something for you guys because not uploading videos for two months is a little crazy. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to upload a video every other day for the month of May. How fun is that? So yeah, I'm going to be posting a new video every odd day in May or every other day. Um, and I'm pretty excited for it. It comes to a total of 16 videos this month, I believe. Some of these videos will be beauty related, some of them will be lifestyle, like home decor related, and um, I might even do one a baking video, some spring cupcakes, anyone? I think that sounds like a fun idea. Um, and also, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, there's going to be like two giveaways this month. Like, how exciting is that? I am so excited for the giveaway. I just, I can't. It's like my first giveaway ever and I'm just so pumped for it and I will have details on that coming up very, very, very soon. So I'm going to quit rambling and get right into my April favorites because I have a few products that I want to share with you guys. Not a lot of products, just a few things I've been loving for this month. So let's get right into it. The first product I have mentioned to you guys a lot in previous favorites videos and that is my beauty blender. Um, I wanted to mention it to you guys again because I am still loving it. I still use it pretty much every day. Every time I wear a foundation, I am using this guy. Um, I apologize for how dirty it is because I used it today, so it's a little bit gross, but, you know, it happens. I feel like whenever I use my Beauty Blender, my foundation just looks flawless. It just applies my foundation so well, and my foundation just goes on so smoothly. And one thing I really like about it is that it has this little dome top, which is really nice for applying under eye concealer and applying, like, foundation around your nostrils and things like that, where... It might be a little bit difficult to blend out product with an average like foundation brush or even a concealer brush. So this just really gets right under your eyes. Then this is my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. I used to use Bare Study and I just kind of quit using my Bare Study Paint Pot. I kind of don't like it anymore. So I decided to go out and get Painterly and I have been using this every day ever since I got it. It is amazing. It's just such a pretty color and one thing I like about this is that it keeps my eyeshadows on all day and it doesn't crease. And because it doesn't crease, since this is such a good like skin tone color, I could wear this like by itself and maybe put a little bit of soft brown in my crease. And yeah, it would be such a pretty look to wear like just for a simple day look or something. But yeah, this is super creamy and just really nice and it just keeps my eyeshadows on all day. The next favorite is probably like my number one favorite out of all the products mentioned to you guys today. This is my Lorac Pro Palette and I... Oh my goodness, I love this palette so much. It is amazing. I'm sure you guys are really familiar with this palette, but it has a great variety of shimmery eyeshadows and matte eyeshadows, and there are so many different looks you can create with all the eyeshadows. I can't believe how pigmented these eyeshadows are. They are seriously just so pigmented. The first time I swatched it, I was just like, oh my gosh, like, is this even real? Like, I can't believe how pigmented these actually are. Um... And they just, they apply so nicely and they blend really nicely too. I actually used the Lorac Pro Palette for this look that I'm wearing today, which will be in a video very soon. My last favorite is a lipstick from NYX. This is the NYX Extra Creamy Lipstick in the shade Talia, or I believe that's how you say it. I don't know, I'm really bad at pronouncing things. Um, anyway, so this lipstick is such a pretty color. It's basically like a brown mixed with some purple. I'm wearing it today, so maybe that will help you guys see the true color. I feel like the color payoff is really nice, and I feel like it shows up really nice on my lips, and it wears really well, too. I know I can go for like a couple hours without really having to apply any new product, which is amazing. Alrighty, guys, so that is it for my April favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up 
that way I kind of know, you know, what kind of videos you guys are into and that helps me make future content for you guys. So I am really excited for this May series. I hope you guys are too. And if you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And that way you know whenever I upload a new video and that way you know when I upload a new video to this May series and just a new video in general. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.